is up ladies and uh, dickheads? How you guys doing today? We're out on a little exploratory adventure today. Alright, I just had a double check. We're near the area. If you guys seen my old cemetery videos where I showed where uh, Wyatt and all the Earth Boys mothers buried and uh, one of their wives or whatever, well, Morgan Earp, one of the other brothers, is married or is buried up here on uh, in Colton, California. And this is a cemetery I've yet to go to. And if you don't know that about me, I love exploring old cemeteries. Now this one, I mean, this dude was buried a long, long time ago, so I assume this cemetery is old. Colton kind of goes back a little ways, and um, this is where gonna where Morgan Earp's gonna be. Now, I don't know if this is going to be one of those historical cemeteries, but hey, it's worth a check. The Wyatt Earp himself, though, he's buried in Colma, California, which I don't even know where the fuck that's at. Uh, it sounds far if I've never heard of it. <laughs> what the fuck? If you guys remember, there was a... Uh, one of the Earp's houses here I showed a while back, the house is still standing and still looks pretty much close to the same thing today. Ironically, uh, one of the Earp's is buried pretty close to it. I'm curious how old this cemetery actually is. Like if Morgan Earp is fucking buried there, then you know that shit's old. Them old Toyota pickups. I love those pickups so much. I want one like that year right there. Oh, Meridian right here. I like how it says no left turn, and then you look over and you're like, no shit. It's a fucking fence into the freeway. Now, where he's buried in here, I have no clue, so we're literally gonna have to like explore around. It's called Hermosa Garden Cemetery. Where's the entrance? There's some old headstones in there. Maybe this is an old one. Oh, here we go. No trespassing, but it's a cemetery. Okay, these all kind of look newer. There's no dates, though. I need to find, like, a groundskeeper or something. Yeah, that one died in 2013. This must be, like, the one uh, by my house, like, where Randy Rhodes is buried. Or like, the farther you go down, the farther... Yeah, she died 2016. 94, okay, so it looks like the more newer ones are here, the more modern times ones, and then the older ones here. 2007, 1858 to 1886 on that one. Ooh. Look at these random old ones in here. 1859 to 1920. Born in Clinton County. Damn, her name was, her last name was Madole. I've never even heard that last name. Damn, there's like really old ones mixed with the modern ones. That's, that's kind of weird. Usually they're kind of different. <coughs> Anna D. Jungers, 1890 to 1920. Okay. Damn, that dude lived from 80, 1886 to 1972. Damn, that dude saw a big advance in tech. 1809 to 1944. Oh no, 89 to 44. Okay. Herb's in here somewhere. That one died 1890. 1902. Oh man, we're going to be searching for a minute. Herb, Herb, Herb. Happy B Day. Oh, that's fucking sad. These ones all look old right here. Shit, I don't think I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna have to look it up. Gravestone is located near the corner of Meridian and C Street. Right here, okay. I am tripping by how um, modern some of these are around the old, old ones. I think that's a groundskeeper pulling up on me. He's like, bitch, what you doing, cunt? So we should be in this corner area. 
See that one died 64, this one 72, this one 91. Oh, there it is. Holy shit. U.S. Deputy Marshal Morgan S. Earp. Bro, that's so cool. Look, they got his picture here and everything. Look at that's Morgan. Bro, there's a thing of JD right here. Let's go ahead and put that back on top of there. How that hasn't been stolen by like some homeless homeless dude is wild. And all these quarters and shit. U.S. Deputy Marshal Morgan S. Er, born 1851, assassinated in Tombstone, Arizona, March 18th, 1882. Must just be an Arizona quarter. No, Rhode Island. I'll go ahead and pay my respects. Everyone else is doing it. There we go. In memory of Morgan Earp, dedicated March 18th, 2013 by the Colton Police Department in recognition of 125 years of law enforcement serious, see, uh, service. That is cool, dude. So there's one more, there, or there's a few more Earps. There's Morgan that's buried here. Then there's like three or four of them buried uh, by Sucumbia Lake in San Bernardino. There's one, uh, Virgil, I believe his name is, buried where Randy Rhodes is buried. And then uh, Wyatt himself is unfortunately buried out in Colma, California. Let me see how far Colma is. Oh yeah, Colma is 442 miles from here. So yeah, that one I definitely wouldn't be able to go to. But um, they got some interesting like old headstones here. But it does have a lot of modern stuff. 1842, 1927. What about this one? Wilford Kenyon. 1905 to 1916. Oh, that's sad. That's a kid. There's a greater man. There is a greater man in heaven. Interesting. Interesting. Damn, er the Earp one is like one of the oldest ones in here. There must have not been too many people buried here when Earp died. Some random dress shoes over there against the wall. 1921 to 39. Okay, when you see those young, like young people dead, it makes you wonder like what happened? Tim, you can't even read this one. 24 to 41. Oh, there's an old one. Urban Depot, 1846 to 1894. That's wild. Father and daughters. No names. See, look, 2021. So this one was buried here in 2021, just a few years ago. Yeah, I think the cemetery by me, the one, the historic one down by Scumby Lake, I think that one's got a lot more history, like old ass people in it. But yeah, I know my cemetery videos, some of you guys are as interested in the stuff as me. Oh my God, I fell in a fucking hole. So I thought I thought those of you that watched Tombstone and know the Earp stuff, the Earps are very popular. I thought you guys would probably think it was pretty cool to see that, you know? Right, I'm gonna change the battery and we're gonna get to exploring. Then I was over there changing my battery and I couldn't help but to notice this. A whole family of people died the same day. March 14th, 91. All of them. That is sad. Makes me wonder if it was like a car crash or something. That is so sad to see. Oh, and look, there's a whole picture of them all. Oh, man, that's so sad. Did you guys miss seeing the Grom? The good old gr Grizzom. And cemeteries are such like a, a somber place to, to visit. I think a dude I used to buy my fucking weed from lived in this area, actually. He had one of these kind of houses. Oh, fucking A, that was a pothole and a half. <laughs> Dude had a, a sticker on the back of his car that said, I'm so gay I can't even drive straight. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I have never seen a sticker like that on a car. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I'm so gay I can't even drive straight. So if he was to ride my Grom, he'd be riding it like this, I'm assuming. Oh, I explored this little spot on my DR200 on a video. And there's like a tunnel right here underneath here. I remember this spot. 
Oh, mattress of the day. Or no, it's like a back of the couch. Just everyone's dumping ground. Fucking quarts and quarts of oil. Three buckets full. Oh, there's a mattress of the day right there. Private railroad crossing. Right to pass by permission of control owner. Interesting. I've never seen that. Dude, this shit's just like one little cunt flame away from being like an inferno. Do you think there's shit in those trailers? Yeah. Man, it's like full of cocks and shit. Oh shit. It's like rolling on fucking marbles. What the hell is down here? Oh, last time there was a car that was like stripped and burnt to fire right here. It looks like somebody took it out. Other than that, it's just dog shit trash. All right, let's see what kind of shit people are throwing away today. And we got four mats. We got a fucking, a shark. Aren't those expensive? Got a, a love seat, a sofa over there just sitting up waiting for like someone to beat cheeks on it. it does seem like a lot of dumb shit. And this really is just trash. It's just fucking a bunch of cardboard. Oh, there's a nice chuck. Damn, someone just threw away some nice... Oh, damn, some fubus? I didn't even know they still made those. It's just like a fucking shower door. One day, man, I'm, I feel like I'm just going to come across like a dead body in here or something. Yeah, nothing interesting. All right, back to exploring. We shall go. See if I can do one of those cool guy turnarounds. <laughs> I'm a fucking edgy cool guy, man. I just spun my bike 180 degrees in a bear now. Ow! Damn, something just slapped me on my shin hoard. I have so much more fun riding this thing through shit like this than I do with my zx 10 r places. Don't get me wrong, my zx 10 r is my baby and I love it. But I mean, how, how, how can exploring random little places on a little bike like this not be fun? Oh, damn, there's an electric fence on there. Holy shit. It only said, it said seven volts. Is that even that much? Is that like one of those? Ah! Reminds me of uh, on CKY when Rab himself pisses on the electric fence and then his ass cheeks start just shaking like crazy when his... Like, you could tell when his piss hit the fucking shit. <laughs> his ass cheeks are just trembling. This shit looked funny as hell. Oh, he was doing some exploring. Damn, he looked like he had a bolt hole in his windshield. What the fuck? That's kind of sketch. Nice tits, my guy. Bro has bolt cutters hanging out of his back pocket. Man, you can't make this shit up. Damn, crank your hog, brother. Crank it. Crank it with the 7-Eleven pizza and everything. My brother. My brother. My brother. Yeah. Oh, shit, a Miata. With some really ugly wide wheels on it. Man, that thing was getting up and going. What's going on out here? Oh, man, look at this spot. I think this place could use a little bit of a pickup. Makes you wonder why all these businesses went out, right? I think San Bernardino is pretty much like a lost cause. And that's coming from somebody that's like got like 30 years of, of living experience here. Hey, get the fuck off my bike, bitch. It's like a fucking baseball card in my spokes. Get that shit out of here. Oh shit, we're rolling up to the last drop look out here in the San Bernard Ghetto. I'm glad they fixed their sign from like some car or something flipping through it. Oh my god. No back window and their front window busted the shit. What the hell's he doing? 
so no house that was being built and they were just like you know what fuck this and they stopped it literally looks like that happened do not have come to this hospital for a lung function test and bro that test was funny it literally looked like i was blowing a cock for like 10 minutes all right let's watch these spikes imagine i accidentally hit the spikes like a dumbass Well, I'm at the stage. I gotta, I gotta do another stand-up joke. That's the new, that's the new meta here for the videos. Every time I come through here, I have to say a stand-up joke. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming by. Thank you for coming by. Be weary of stairs. They're always up to something. Oh, brother! This guy stinks. Okay, never mind. Do some laundry at the park. Hang up your wet clothes. Hey, kill two birds with one stone. Oh my god, look at that. All tents up there. Wow. I think we gotta do one more thing before we end the video. Let's go check the cheek beating spot in the mountain. This is like a nice day where like you can come out and bust some like minimal sweaty cheeks. Things you can just throw a school bus in front of incoming traffic. Gotta love it. I saw these gold wings brand new at Shapakut like two days ago, and they're like 28 G's. But man, I bet they're so nice when you're riding them. <laughs> the pup. I love dogs and their heads are out of the window. I bet they're having the time of their life doing that. Man, I am a slow dickhead. Like I'm going 45. I'm getting straight up swooped by. This is a really fun bike though to take. Like once you get up to the top of the mountains where it's not struggling, this bike is so fun on the windy roads and shit and trails. I gotta go again. Tom is so overgrown right here. I can't tell if this is actually it or not, but it is. Oh, there ain't gonna be no cheek beat. There's not even a car around here anywhere. Bro, if I was homeless, well, I guess not, not really because I'd have to walk out there, but I'd say like I'd, I'd fucking pick a spot like this to chill at. Got the running water so you can wash your nuts off and shit. I can't believe there's still water flowing through here. Oh, there's a new shirt since last time I was here. How the hell did they even hang that up? Oh, it's on like a stick. Imagine I saw like a fucking bear over there. I'd shit my fucking pants. Why does it say bye bye? Bye, Dave. It's kind of freaky. The guy named Dave get his fucking ass kicked here. This is pretty cool. Then like goes all through here. Yeah, it just goes all through here. I wonder where that run out is. I wish I actually saw wildlife through here though. Like when I'm in the mountains, I never see wildlife. What the fuck? Look at all these roly polies on this thing. Are all those black things like eggs or something? I have never seen a fucking cackle of, there's two roly polies fucking there on top of each other. No way. Uh, I just realized this is probably, somebody wiped their ass with that. No spank you. Well, no cheeks being beat here today. It'd be fun, yeah, if I can get up here and my bike's stolen. Then, like, that's literally how fast it seems to happen with these Roms. Ooh, it fucking stinks right here. Ugh. Somebody had to have shit themselves here somewhere. I wonder how the overview is here. I've never actually looked. Well, it's abundant that there's a lot of water through here with how green everything is. And they're getting all the sunlight and shit. That smells like wet piss. And I know piss is wet, but think of like a moisturized piss. That's what it smelled like right there. Well, ladies and dickheads, just a fun little fart around video I wanted to do today. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and call her there. Thank you guys all for coming through, hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed the fun little exploration. Something just pegged me in the chest and that hurt really bad. 
yeah that's gonna conclude it brothers you guys all have a good day thank you guys for watching all links will be down below just support me shape or form get my shirt stickers etc and as always if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the Fuck! out of that like button and you guys have yourselves a good day and i'll see you guys later